I think music is always political. I think actually everything we do is political, you know, just the choice of what coffee we might have for breakfast is political. Um, whether you have coffee from Vietnam, Vietnam made with plants that were grown as a result of the deforestation caused by Asian orange dropped by the American uh, bombers uh, um, in the Vietnam War, or do you get African beans from Ethiopia? You know, just every decision that you make, there's a there's important stories around and context around those things. George Orwell says, if you choose to make your art not political, then that's a political decision in and of itself. I think it was a real shock when the Brexit vote happened. So for me, I felt like I had to do something. And there's something about a big band that I think is really brilliant. It's a kind of democratic institution where everybody does their own bit, but everybody pulls together to create something unique and special. I like cheese and wine. We created a Brexit big band was trying to collaborate right across Europe with as many people as possible. Um, to try and create something that was a positive vision for how Britain reacts, interacts with its neighbours. You will concrete it right over. We will reach out further and further. You will drill down deeper and deeper. We will stand up deeper and deeper. You will see the dollars in We will be the human. In Europe, we've had some really positive feedback. People are really interested and keen to hear about the project and also to hear another perspective and not just one from politicians. Um, also a lot of them don't quite believe that it's really quite happening because it seems really insane. The people of Europe, I'm sorry. Um, but the show in Madrid is kind of like, a, it's almost like a goodbye party. So it's, it's kind of like saying goodbye, we'll see you soon, but for now, it seems we have to leave.